In this video, we'll show you how to create an automation inside Active Campaign to win back your time by automating manual repeat tasks. I'm Jason, Growth Specialist at Wildmail, where we help make Active Campaign even better for Europe based businesses. Let's dive in. So first, let's talk about when you would want to use automations versus campaigns inside Active Campaign. We want to use automations to automate our marketing and regain our time when we find ourselves sending out manual email communication that's taking up too much of our time, too much of our energy, and we're sending the same thing over and over and over. And this is typically one of the first pain points that growing companies come to us with. And they say that they're sending out you know, the same email, people are interested, they've got to send out a lead magnet or more information. All of this can be automated. So if we review the difference between automations and campaigns, we see that campaigns are best for one-off emails like newsletters, product updates, and flash sales. Uh, and automations are best for your, your evergreen marketing efforts that can be sent out based on specific conditions that a contact has met or actions taken by that contact. Uh, examples would be nurture sequences, post-purchase sequences, webinar registrations, and we've got an entire video you can check out here on this topic. So let's dive in and create an automation from scratch. This can be great for either a welcome message uh, and welcome sequence or a lead magnet delivery sequence with follow-up. And we're going to first dive right into Active Campaign. And in the left-hand column, we're going to go to Automations. And in the top right, we can click Create and Automation. Now you'll see we have options called recipes, and we've got an entire lesson on our top four recipes, including a bonus recipe. These are your templates basically, but I'm going to show you how to create one from scratch. So you have an understanding of how automations work, and then you can always customize these recipes from there. So first select start from scratch and hit continue. So the first thing we need is a trigger to start our automation. It has to know based on uh, contact meeting certain conditions or contact taking certain actions, uh, engaging with our brand. It has to know that it's time to trigger and send that contact through the automation. So in our case, we're typically going to start an automation when a tag is added to a contact. So I'll select that here for our tag. I'll just create an example lead magnet. Example one, this sequence you would choose multiple times. If you only want them to be able to opt in once and go through this automation one time, select once. For our case here, we can just choose once. And you'll notice this here for advanced. I'm not going to go too deep into this. You can check out this video on segmentation. But if I do click this, then we can use different conditions to determine whether or not we want to trigger this automation. Uh, based on other actions or other conditions that this contact has met. For this example, we'll just say that they're opting in for a lead magnet and we'll hit start. And now it's going to take us right into adding our first action, a new action. Okay, so what we're going to do is in sending options, we're going to send our first email. And for right now, we can just say lead magnet one delivery example. And we're going to choose save and design later, but you can either start with a template or start with a past campaign. You can check out the past video on how to create a campaign inside active campaign. So save and design later. And you want to make sure that you do go back and edit this action and edit and customize this email. So if we go back to our steps, We've added the start trigger. It triggers when a tag is added. This might be because they've opted into a form. Typically, that's going to be a, a form that they've opted into showing interest in the lead magnet. Maybe we've collected some information on that contact uh, and we're adding a tag saying that they opted in for the lead magnet. Sometimes when someone opts in, we can collect information from them on the form and then we can tag them based on their responses uh, that they've given us. So this could be around their industry the size of their company, et cetera. And we can tag them for future segmentation in the beginning of the automation. Uh, and next up, we're going to add the send an email action, which you saw here. As I mentioned, go back in and adjust the copy, customize this email. Uh, this can also be for a welcome email. If you're just having someone sign up for a newsletter, for example, this could be the first email that they receive. And then next up, um, we're going to add a wait condition. So in this case, 
you can see some of the options here. Wait for seven days. Wait for seven days and check if the email was opened. We're going to hit the plus, conditions and workflow. Wait. Wait until specific conditions are met. And we're going to say, as click on a link, and we're going to choose the campaign or the email that we just plugged in, the lead magnet one delivery example. Here, we could choose uh, any link if you only have one in there, uh, but typically there's going to be other links like unsubscribe, et cetera. So we want to choose the link that's delivering the lead magnet. We could use this example, hit save. And we're going to set a time limit. Let's do up to three days and hit save. So what that means is we're going to wait until they click the link to download the lead magnet in this example or up to three days. So now that we've added our wait condition, we're going to add the final main action step, which is an if else condition in order to segment and personalize. So from here, hit the plus, go to conditions and workflow, go to if else, and this is going to allow us to continue the automation in a different path, depending on uh, certain conditions that the contact has met or uh, certain actions that they've taken. So let's go to has clicked on a link. Email is not any email. It is a campaign. And we're going to search for the campaign. Lead magnet delivery. There it is. Lead magnet one delivery example. And the link is the Google Drive to deliver the lead magnet and we'll hit save. Now you'll see this branches the automation into two separate paths. So the first is yes, they have clicked this link. So that means that they've clicked it before the three days and they'll pass through this condition. And if yes, we can send them another email, sending options, send an email. Nurture sequence example one, and we'll just say save and design later. And then this one on the no path, we can send another email. Lead magnet follow up one, save it and design later. So let me just walk you through what we've created here. Someone fills in a form, they opt in uh, for a specific lead magnet. We're going to send them an email delivering the lead magnet. Then we're going to wait until they've clicked the link for the file in the Google Drive or for up to three days. Then we're going to see, does the contact match the following conditions? They clicked the link, in which case we can send them down the nurture path. Email one, wait another two days, email two, email three, etc. And then we can end the automation. Or if they did not click the link, we can follow up with an email and we can adjust the copy to personalize it based on their actions or lack of action in this case and say, hey, we noticed you didn't download the, uh, the lead magnet. Don't forget to download it. Here it is again. Prompt them to take the action that we want and continue to build that relationship with them. So this is an example of how to set up the automation from scratch. And you can just give it a title, lead magnet delivery sample, hit save, and turn it active up here in the top right when you're ready to launch it. And from that point on, whenever someone has the tag lead magnet example one added to them in their contact account here in Active Campaign in your CRM, it will trigger this automation, they will run through, and then the automation will end. If you have any questions about setting this up or adjusting any of the recipes in the video that I mentioned, feel free to drop them below. We'd be happy to help you build out your first automation.